Hello students, today we are going to discuss the stability of trusses. Now, from the previous lecture, we know that if the structure follows basic three conditions of equilibrium, then it is said to be a stable structure. And if any of the equilibrium condition is not followed, then the structure will show the movement and it is known as unstable structure. Now, in the case of truss, we had bifurcated the unstability into two parts that is internal unstability and the external unstability. Now the external unstability will be same as that of beams and frames that is it is bifurcated in two parts. First one is the geometric unstability when reaction is greater than equals to 3. Second one is the static unstability when reaction is less than 3. Now when all the three reactions are parallel then it is said to be or the structure is subjected to geometrical unstability and when all the three reactions or more reactions meet at a single point then the structure is subjected to geometrical unstability. Now when the reaction is less than 3 then it is a case of static unstability. Now this is same for the beam frames and trusses. Now the only change is that the internal unstability. Now the internal unstability of truss is shown here. If triangulated form is formed in each panel of truss then it will never fail in shear. It means that if triangulated form is formed in each panel of the truss then it will not fail in shear. If even a single panel is without triangulated form then the entire truss will fail in shear due to the failure of this panel. It means that if there will be any panel which is not in the triangulated form then it will fail in shear like this and this will result in the complete failure of the truss. That's why when there will not be any triangulated form in any panel then the truss is said to be internally unstable truss and if each and every panel of the truss is in the triangulated form then the truss is internally stable. That is all about the stability of trusses. Thank you very much students.